Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is for parents, for teachers, for students even, that want to do some type of engineering type project at home. So if you want to see the project, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. So today's project is going to be a marble run type project. And it's really cool because you don't need a whole lot of materials. And what's really neat about the engineering side of this project is you get to build the marble run so that your marble goes down the ramps and you can actually modify this project to increase how long it takes the marble to get down. So let's take a look at the materials you're gonna need. Okay guys, so you're gonna definitely need some type of either masking tape, scotch tape, maybe even duct tape, scissors to cut the cardboard. I made mine out of a cereal box here. Um, you can use paper towel rolls or even uh, toilet paper rolls. And then you're going to need some type of marble here. I got this marble at Walmart. You can get this at Target. And I can show you later in the video how you can even make something like this out of tin foil. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you the instructions like I would my students. But the cool thing about this project is you can modify this however you'd like. So you can see how I took some of the cereal box and made um, my ramp out of it. So you can obviously tell that you're going to have to angle um, whatever you would attach to your cereal box. And it doesn't have to be a cereal box. You can try to find any type of cardboard box. Um, but you're going to have to angle it so that the marble does eventually go down. Now I have mine just resting on the table, but eventually it'll stand up looking like this. So... I would go ahead and give my, my students the instructions like this. Okay, so I want there to be four different levels to your marble runner. And I want your marble runner to have um, a flat track type level. I want yours to have some type of curved level either out of a toilet paper roll or possibly a paper towel roll. I want your marble run to have some type of drop or, um, you know, some type of hole where the marble goes through. And I want your marble runner to have, have some type of covered part to it. So it could be just a complete toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. And there are the four levels, one, two, three, and four. And then have some type of um, resting spot for your marble or whatever um, ball you're gonna use. So I'll probably put some type of container there at the bottom. And then, you know, you just tape your ramps to the box and adjust it as necessary. Uh, the ball actually does go down into that hole. It looks like it might slip through there, but it actually has so much momentum that it goes through the hole. And that's how my marble run looks. So let's go ahead and put the marble through and see how this goes. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and test this, but eventually when you're ready, you're going to need uh, your phone or some type of stopwatch so you can figure out how long does it take this ball to get down to the bottom. But let's just go ahead and first see how this goes. And it made it to the bottom. And for those of you that don't have a marble, let me go ahead and show you how to make a marble out of tin foil. Okay, for those of you that don't have a marble, no, you're not gonna need a piece this big. I just thought I would get a sheet big enough that if I messed up, I'd have extra. So you definitely just wanna start off small. You don't wanna make your foil marble too big because if you make it too big then it's really hard to you know it's better to add on to it than to make it smaller so you're just gonna take a piece of foil and you're just gonna roll it in your hands it's not gonna get perfect we're just going to try to get it as round as we can and we definitely want to stop when it gets to be the size of a marble so not, actually not too bad. Just maybe want to add a little bit more to it. And we just want to keep 
we just want to keep working it until it can be somewhat round. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. It's still going to roll. Um, you know, if it looks more like a football, I mean, that's what you can do is just start to take your fingers and, and you can see where it may be not isn't as round as it should be and we can always it might be better if you do it in your hand that way it, you don't end up smashing it because we definitely don't want to smash it we just want to round it out and let's go ahead and compare it yeah not too bad so let's go ahead and try to put this back into the marble run and see how good it is Okay, everybody, once you feel like your marble's good, or your tinfoil marble's good, uh, you'll just send it through your marble run. And if it ends up, you know, hanging up and just not rolling, that's when you know you need to just smooth out any of the flat edges better. So let's go ahead and give it a test. And there we go. Okay, guys, so now that your marble run is built what you're going to do now is get your marble or whatever projectile you're going to have go down the marble run and what you want to do is get your phone or a stopwatch and what you want to do is time how long does it take from the moment you drop it or let it go to the time it touches the very bottom and what you want to do is record that time okay guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be dropping the marble and at the same time start the stopwatch and then I'll stop it as soon as it finishes so here we go let me keep it up here and ready set go okay so I got 2.53 let's go ahead and do two more trials Two point six five and two point five one. Okay, so now that you got your first time of how long it took the marble to get down, I have left you on that document two more spaces to try and drop your marble down again just so that you can see if your time is consistent or does it fluctuate from, you know, trial to trial. Not that you want to, you know, average these out, which you could, but I just wanted you to get a, you know, a second and third time just to see if your times are consistent or not. Now comes the fun mathematical engineering part of this project. What I'd like you now to do is let's just say, like in my example, my uh, marble run was around 2.3 to 2.5 seconds. So what those of you that are teachers and especially students, now we're going to try to take your marble run and modify it. So that way, if you had a 2.5, we're going to try to double your time by modifying your marble run. And for those of you that would meet that challenge, maybe even make it more now where we would triple your time. So for those of you, let's say your marble run was like mine where it was 2.5. Now let's try to double it where it takes five seconds to get down. And if you can meet that challenge, let's try to triple it where it would take 7.5 seconds to get down because 2.5 times 3 is 7.5. Now, what you would have to do here is just modify your marble run. I mean, we can't add any more ramps. So you would have to figure out what can I do or add to my, my marble run to hinder the, the ball from going down as quick as it did the first time to take longer. So the first challenge is going to be doubling your time. So take a look at the time that you had on your first trial, multiply it by two, and try to modify your 
marble run so it gets to be that time. Now, what are the rules? You can use whatever you'd like to be able to hinder the ball to make it slower to get down to the bottom. Okay, but you, again, you can't add any more ramps. You can only have those four levels like we had the original time. So you can do what you want, experiment what you want, but you're trying to get to that goal of doubling that first time. And for those of you that are successful, tripling that time. So you can look at my doc again that I left in the description to be able to figure out, you know, how do you document all of these trials? Okay, so teachers and parents, what I don't want to do is give away any secrets because that would defeat the whole purpose of this project. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and be working on my part two as you guys take a look at this part one. And I'll go ahead and do a follow-up video where I can just show you some modifications that I made to make the marble take longer to get down, to double the time and then to ultimately triple the time. So remember the rules, you cannot add any more ramps to your marble run, but you can add things in to hinder the ball so that it doesn't come down as fast. And what's gonna be really neat is to figure out and you know observe what the kids do to figure this out. It's just gonna be neat to see the different ideas that different students have. So I hope you guys have fun with this project, um, fun looking for all these resources and materials. Again, if you can't get a marble, you can try that piece of tin foil. Just try to make it as round as you can. And it's going to be a really cool project, I hope. So hopefully you guys have all of the materials at home. If not, you know, it might just take one trip to the grocery store if, you know, you possibly can't find anything. But, you know, definitely check your house first for cereal boxes, just boxes of anything. I mean, it could be just a box that, you know, macaroni or spaghetti box that you can use for your ramps, toilet paper or paper towel rolls. You guys can find things. I'm not sure if you have to go out very far to look for these things. Okay, hopefully you enjoy this project and I would love, um, you know, to be able to see what some of you come up with. So it's, you know, just one of those things where um, I, I love the ideas that are gonna come through this project. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino Zega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.